Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to Isaiah chapter number 12, and we are going to look at verse number 5. Isaiah 12, 5. The Bible says, Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, which is actually a commandment, right? I mean, that, that sentence uh, is telling us what to do. The implied subject of the sentence is you. You sing unto the Lord. Why? For he hath done excellent things. You know, I love to sing unto the Lord. When it's time to sing the hymns, and I've been like this for years, many, many years, uh, but, I, but it seems like every year that passes by that I serve the Lord, I get even more excited when I have an opportunity to sing unto the Lord. Uh, you know, and, and the uh, congregational singing, and, and uh, you know, now uh, in church, I you know, lead the singing, and uh, it's just, I love to sing unto the Lord. And for many years, I've always wondered, why is it that some people don't? And I understand that the, the natural conclusion for most is, is to assume that it is because they cannot sing or they feel like they cannot sing. And so they're maybe self-conscious or whatever, and so they don't sing. But I don't find that to be the case because I've, you know, I, 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 have a, uh, I have a music degree. So I, I'm a musical person. I used to be a music, music teacher for, for a number of years. And so I understand music. I have an ear for music. There are people, and I, I've come across this many, many times in the uh, various churches that I've been to, small, medium, and large churches. It doesn't matter. Many instances I've seen where people that uh, cannot necessarily carry a tune so to speak you know they don't um they don't sing in pitch and it's time for the congregational singing they sing their hearts out off key slightly sometimes not so slightly <laughs> but but it doesn't matter they sing because they're singing to the lord and i love to hear it i don't care if they're off key i love to hear the excitement of somebody singing unto the Lord. And then I've known people who I know they can sing. I know they have a good ear for music and a, and a, and a wonderful voice and a wonderful singing voice. You know, they sound really good and pleasant when they sing and, and they have a talent for singing. And then when it's time for congregational singing, they're just, they're bored. It's like, and sometimes they don't even sing at all. They just kind of look around, they don't sing, and it's like, why? I don't understand it. So, so it's definitely not because, oh, those who know how to sing will sing, and then those who don't, won't. No, that's not true. That's not the case at all. And then this passage comes along and explains it all. Let me read it again. Isaiah 12, 5. Sing unto the Lord. Why? For he hath done excellent things. He hath done excellent things. You see, when I was 28 years old, my, my daughter was only a few months old, and my son was about two and a half years old. I was diagnosed with cancer. I thought that was it for me. I thought, like, that's it. I'm not going to live to see 30. You know, God's going to take me home. My kids are going to have to grow up without their dad, their biological dad. You know, hopefully my wife can remarry somebody who can provide for the family and, and be there for them. Somebody who's willing to, to uh, marry a widow. I thought that was it. And <laughs> praise God. You know, I've, I've, not only did I live to see 30, but I'm over the hill now. You know, I, I, I crossed 40 a, a few years back. And, you know, I don't know if I'm on borrowed time or not, but it doesn't matter. Praise the Lord. Anytime it's time to sing, I get excited because I know that it all could have ended a couple decades ago. And it didn't. Praise God. 
And I could praise God over, I mean, so many other things in my life. What he saved me from, the wicked life I used to live back then, I should have been dead years ago. I have this, this wonderful family. I have so much to praise God and sing to him for. I have experienced so many wonderful things of God that I cannot contain myself. When it's time to sing, I will sing unto the Lord of his excellent things that he has done in my life. And I think that's just it. I think people who have never experienced those wonderful things of the Lord have a hard time singing. How can they sing about something they know nothing about? And if you have a hard time singing, I encourage you to let God more into your life. Give him a chance. Start depending on God more in your life. Pray more. Read the word of God more. Be specific in your prayers. Start looking for, for specific prayers to be answered by God and get him involved in your life and see the excellent things that God can do in your life so that when it's time to sing, you will have no problem at all singing to the Lord. I truly believe that's the reason why. Those who don't sing are bored, they're not interested in singing, is because they have no idea of the excellent things that God could do in their lives. And those who sing their hearts out, whether or not they can carry a tune, are the ones who have experienced the excellent things of God. So sing, sing your heart out to the Lord for his excellent things. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you Monday morning. Bye-bye.